chosen for my spider. It's kind of a basic unit. It's just an update upgrade anyway. And um, I chose the Boss Elite BN965 BLC. Uh, it comes with a backup camera, but I'm going to use that as a front camera because I already have a backup camera in my rear view mirror. Um, so basically what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you all how to wire everything together for the plug and play. Then I'm going to take it out to the shop and show you how to pull out the old head unit, put the new head unit in, wire everything in correctly for the new head unit that needs to be wired in, and show you that it all works. All right, guys, let's get to it. All righty, guys, so the tools you will need for today's job is gonna be a 10 millimeter socket, a Phillips head screwdriver, then you're also going to need wire strippers and crimpers. You're going to need the butt connectors. You're also going to need an 18 to 16 gauge wire uh, to connect anything loosely um, like the front camera that I'll be showing you later on. And you'll also need a flathead screwdriver for prying off some of the plastic parts later. All right guys, let's get to it. So I bought a head unit from uh, Clutch Field, and this is the segment where we're going to go ahead and wire up the components that they sent me so that it's just a plug and play. Um, so basically, this right here goes with all of the um, radio components. This was sent to me by Clutch Field, and it has the plug-in to my car. So we're going to wire these two things together, um, following basically uh, the schematic that I'm going to show you here. And then wiring it to this. This has labels on it already, so it's pretty easy to read and follow. But yeah, so let's get connected. So this is a short wiring tutorial using butt connectors. I'm going to take both ends, strip the wire off, and then put the butt connector on there. Then I'm going to crimp it on. Make sure after you're done crimping each time that you uh, pull it to make sure it's on there correctly. Little tip when attaching the buck connector to the final wire, make sure you put the crimps in between there before. It makes it a lot easier to crimp it in the end. Then after you get it all crimped, make sure both are good and tight with a thin thug. And you're done and it's time to fast forward.
Just something that I ran into while wiring. If you get a red wire that says switch power on it, on the head unit, it might say accessory. So it's a red wire on mine, so it'll be red to red, but I had to call customer service, which they were amazing, and figure that out real quick. But I'm gonna get it all figured out, crimped together. First connector done. All the wires that need to be connected are connected to that one. Here's a Crutchfield overview of what we're about to do. Alright, <clears throat> so we got the wiring done on the uh, head unit and we're gonna go ahead and start taking out the old one. So in order to do that, we're gonna pop these three out. And there's one, two screws that you gotta take out. Gently pry on each corner until the plastic facing comes off. And then we'll just give it a nice tug and it comes out. Now we got the uh, clock wiring mechanism that you gotta pull out. And there we go. That's out. Bottom one. side rails off so that they reveal the uh, shoes. Alright, next. Yep. Pull out that. Ashtray. Inside, there are two 10 millimeter bolts that we're going to take out. And disconnect them from the back here, here, and here. Alright, so I went ahead and plugged in the uh, clip to make sure it works. It looks like they gave me an adapter for rear speakers, but instead of wiring this whole clip, I'm just gonna wire it straight to the back of the head unit. This is how I hardwire the right rear speaker into the back of the head unit. 
Um, I have another video that shows the progress of how to get the wires up to the front of the head unit. So if you want to see that, you'll have to check out the rear speaker's box video. out the left side rear speakers and do the exact same thing that we did to the right side rear speakers and attach them up directly to the back of the head. So now I'm going to reroute the uh, satellite line. I have a hard top, and I mean some of y'all that have the soft top, I mean you could probably do the same thing. I just kind of wedged it in between the groove, and then used my weather sealing to hide the cord, and then dipped it back through this crack all along the door frame line. And I'm going to go in through here to the back side of the radio. So I got the satellite line on here. Good to go. Next we're gonna work on camera. So we're starting the front camera mount for the uh, head unit. I'm gonna go ahead and mount this camera up front. We're gonna run the line through the car and I'm going to set up a switch so that I can turn the camera on and off. And that's pretty much what we're doing here. I'm gonna run the wires through the cab to there. All right, so I ran the wires through there into here and into this switch right here. So one of the wires comes up from the engine bay and the other wire comes out 
to get the power from the radio. That's my on off switch on my camera. Alrighty, so we got these tabs that we need to pull off of your old radio. So we're gonna go ahead and pull off of them. There's four on each side. So we'll knock those eight bolts out. And when you put your new part on, it should line up with the radio. Now those of you that order from Crutchfield, uh, you'll get this plastic plate to basically set the space in between for the Toyotas because they'll still have that little gap. So I forgot to mention, so take those two top bolts out on each side and you can put that plastic piece in there for the gaps if you bought from Crutchfield. If not, then you can obviously buy these plastic parts from Crutchfield if you want. The plastic piece that you receive from Crutchfield to make the outside appearance better actually needs some modification. You need to cut this part off and screw in the bolt only to the silver part that you're moving from your old radio in order to make it fit correctly into your head unit space. So basically now we're gonna plug everything in. Front camera. GPS. Got everything hooked up. Front camera's working. Flip. Working. go uh, navigation tuner excuse I've got the speakers are working you are the one to so now what we're gonna do is just put it back together in the reverse order of how you took it apart thanks for watching like and subscribe for more videos Oh, <laughs>